Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be back here tomorrow and all postseason long. Corey Kluber has the ball for the fifth game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? I got to Sometimes count one it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Adam Eaton goes down for the first out of the game. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Sepulveda stands at first with one out. All even now, two and two. That and misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. I wouldn't be surprised to see the runner moving here on that 3-2 pitch. With only one out, but this guy at the plate swings the bat really well, so it's likely he'll put the ball in play if it's a pitch Aye. worth swinging at. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Two out with the man at first. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance in the inning. Now at the plate, Lorenzo Kane. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. And right out of the gates, the Dodgers will be forced to deal with his speed at first base. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. A pitch out. The throw on out. the pitch out pays off as he is nailed at second base. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with a steal, but it didn't work out. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. A Got toss him. on to Price at the bag as they record the out. Stepping up now, Joey Gallo looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leaguer can have their... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at-bat. 
One might be coming right here. Smoke toward the hole. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. That's the only way to combat a nasty cutter. You have to find a way to fight and stay inside that baseball and drive it the other way. Ball, that's out. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Three and one ball, is the count to the bad. Dodgers shortstop. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So one gun in the inning here with a runner at first. The and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. In my opinion, there's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. Into the box now, Max Muncy. When that pitch was grooved right down me. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well. To deep right field. Gone! Back-to-back -back homers. At the plate, Cabert Ruiz. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. The one and two pitch. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. In now is Adam Eaton. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. That's popped up. Left fielder coming in, but he won't get there. It falls in. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d -Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Mookie Betts. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Thames is there, and... The so digging in now, Eric Thames, lifetime versus David Price. He hasn't had much success, just two for 11. He's taken him deep once. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Eaton comes on now, and he has it one down. Now the 2-1 pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peterson has a read on it. Two gone. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Eaton is under it. And that's the third out. Rangers... Top of the third set to get underway. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. Marco Estrada is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Lifted in the air out to center field. After it is Kane. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. One and two now. One out, nobody on. And Whoa, he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Kane comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for route number two. Striding in, Corey Seager. Ah. A ball and two strikes. He 
Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Now the one and one pitch is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. two Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Smoked on the ground, left side. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw it where it was aligned and tried to beat him. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. So runners at first and second here with one away. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder, Christian Yelich. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, d -Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Eaton makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And hey, no chance there. Up. He'll make it to third safely. So runners at the corners with two gone. And standing in, the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Moustakas. And the pitch balls, misses low and away for ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. In Trying to pick things up where we left off, Jock Peterson as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Gallo, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitter Max oh, Muncy. Cool. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Three and two now. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Kebert Ruiz will dig into the plate. The one two fastball right back to the mound and he'll flip it oh. onto first and with it that ends the inning Dodgers down in order digging in now Eric Thames 0 for 1 for him here in this one things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning hit back up the middle gloved by Turner and the throw oh. on to first will take care of him so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield one away to the plate now is the designated hitter, Fran Moreas. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Left field and deep. Back goes Peterson. 
to the track. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. At the plate now, Omar Narvaez. Liner toward right center. And that's going to get down out there. The relay and a leap, but hey, it's fired right you know. over his head. Well, now you see how difficult it is to be a catcher. This ball is really smoke gets all. All the way to the wall, d -Row, but he just doesn't have the foot speed to turn this into an extra base hit. Yeah, his calling card is definitely not his ability to run the bases. It's for offense and massaging a pitching Out. staff. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More on tap from game five after this. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Adam Eaton. The 1-1 home. Swing, and he pops him up. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. In now, Carlos Sepulveda. Ball. Change up just off the black, and it's two, two and one. one strike. Hits are even at seven apiece. To two and two count. now. Two and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now at the plate, Mookie Betts. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A ball and two strikes now. I got to count one and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Peter caught too much of the zone. And he fouls this one off. 3-1 to one our score as we play inning number five. Fouled away. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and... Striding into the box, Tommy LaStella, a base hit in his first trip. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And another foul ball. Line but speared on a hop. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Cain. Bases are empty, one man out. Into center field, line drive base hit. 
He's lucky it's only a single back up the middle and not a double in the gap or a home run. Pitches like that in a show get absolutely hammered. And here's Christian Yelich now. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. A look to first by hey. Price. Runners back. One run, eight hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. That's a ball. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Now Price misses here on two and two, and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those... He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And right, that'll ball, get over the wall. So Too forget bad. about sending the runner. It'll be second and third now with only one away. Well, I do wonder if that ball stays in the ballpark, did they send him home there? It's really hard to say with the ball oh. bouncing over the wall for a double. That might have cost them a run there. The third baseman, Mike Moustakis now, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Rolled slowly to first, and he'll oh. step on the bag himself, and the inning is... Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Hit in the air to right field. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first out. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he oh, got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. That's three and one now as that misses down and in. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Looks like he the swung it underwater one, that time for strike two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Jock Peterson goes down for out number two in the top half. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends. Ready once again, Eric Thames. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1 1 from Price. Shot toward right center. Eaton. Is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. Line toward the alley in left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. In now, Omar Narvaez. He singled his last time up. Lifted the other way to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They're down three to two. Seventh inning ready to roll, and digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Cabert Ruiz. The 2-1 home. 
Heading out towards shallow right. Yelich has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Adam Eaton digging in next. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. One and two now to One Adam ball, Eaton. Pomerantz has logged upwards of 900 innings on the mound so far and has an ERA just under four, a respectable number that he'd like to improve upon in this one. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Adam Eaton is the second out in the seventh inning. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3-2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. La Stella fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Edebre Ramos gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Here's Tommy Le Rukna Dodor will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. Stay. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Muncie is under it, two gone. So stepping in, Christian Yelich, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The set and the two and one into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. And that's going to tie our ball game as the runner scores from second to make it 3-3 now. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws One under ball. 97 Two, miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. A great job of holding up right there. Little two-out lightning might ensue by one check swing holding up. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Bellinger will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that it. Or run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Rukna Dodor will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. All set for the start of the inning, and striding forward, the designated hitter, count Mookie one Betts. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two. Ball two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Next for the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And Mustakas has this one for route number 2. Into the box, Justin Turner. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Three runs, seven hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Misses, ball two, two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful 
and has played this game so long. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the end. Scott Alexander is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Mike Moustakis. Hit hard up the middle, reined in. On to first, and a sigh of relief in that visitor's dugout as that's a big man to retire to start out the home eighth. So one gone now in the Texas half of the eighth. And in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Into the box, Fran Moreas. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Long throw to third. And he is in hey. there at third is the possible go-ahead score. Digging in to try it again, Omar Narvaez. He flew out in his last at-bat. Now the 2-1. Swing and a line drive into left field, a base hit. Coming in to score is the runner from third, and they have taken the lead here in game five. And he's hey, out he's on a going. strong throw. Runner on first with two away. Into the box now, Elvis Andrews. Now Andrews with a swing and a deep drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. So now to the plate, Rubnet Odor started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance. Here's Corey Seager, and obviously they'll need a ninth inning rally here if this series is going to make it to a game six. Jose LeClerc takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now the one and two pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Striding in once again, Max Muncy. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. The one-and-one one pitch. Aye. A crowd nearing 50,000 on its feet here in Arlington. Struck him out, and it's over. They are World Series champions. Well, they've just clinched the World Series title in front of the home crowd, and no doubt about it. This town is going to be rocking and rolling tonight, just like this stadium is rocking right now as they celebrate something they'll remember forever. They are the World Series champions. Back now on the show. More reactions now to this series clinching victory. on the field we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs 